As per one of the only guidelines given to us by YouTube, it is now past the 30 second mark, so I can confidently say, without fear of losing any monetization or visibility, fuck you, Susan. Well, howdy do, my hoes and homos. YouTube is a wonderful platform for uh, video sharing. As a matter of fact, it's about the only one that's ever used due to the absolute monopoly over the market that Google has. And it used to be a once thriving and beautiful platform where any creator could safely go on there and scream about whatever topic they wanted to to their heart's content. Really, the only risk of posting something that would be cringeworthy would be being criticized by your fellow creators. But nowadays, we all live in constant fear, the creators that is, because you can't upload jag shit with anything that might be considered slightly offensive, unless you're a smaller creator, or you're in some sort of niche that allows you to get away with that. And we knew this for a while, and actually the topic of YouTube being a shit platform for its creators is one that's been around for quite some time, and there are probably better videos on the topic than the one I'm doing right now. So why I'm covering this now is because of an issue that came up with a buddy of mine, a British potato. More on that later. This whole situation situation really made us realize that there are so few actual tools for this program, and it's handled in such a shit way that it's not even funny, and there is no alternative to this platform. So anybody who wants to create content and actually have people see it is stuck abiding by these guidelines, regardless of whether they want to or not. And the issue isn't the guidelines themselves, it's the fact that there's no way of figuring out exactly what they are, beyond a few vague statements that are listed in the community guidelines sections and other things that people have found out in the past by pure experimentation. So without further ado, let's get into the meat of this shit. So, most of the stuff that we actually have an issue with falls under the copyright category of the guidelines. Like, getting away with bullying or telling people to kill themselves is absolutely fine. Like, YouTube doesn't seem to block that at all. The issues come around when it's, like, copyright shit and stuff that relates to their filters, which are absolutely abhorrent. Yes, they are very effective, but they are way too effective and they just don't seem to always work the same. Like, when you get demonetized, it tells you you got demonetized. It doesn't say why you got demonetized monetized, it just tells you that you're not suitable for ads. This is something that is really an issue, so then creators can figure out what the fuck they're doing wrong, and go back, try to fix it, or just either at least have some sort of knowledge at what they're not doing correctly in their video. If they could have incorporated their timestamp kind of thing into the demonetization shit, it would have been phenomenal, but they can't be bothered. Same thing goes with stuff that affects your visibility. YouTube just outright refuses to tell us exactly what we did wrong, and if you go to YouTube's community guidelines, there's actually not even a category for copyrighted material. Because, fuck you, there's a harder page to find called Rules and Policies that then goes over the copyrighted materials, but still refuses to go over anything direct that would tell us exactly what kind of copyrighted materials we can use and when, like giving us time frames, like how long of a clip can we use of copyrighted materials. They just simply refuse to elaborate on that. Here, look at this. Borrowing small bits of material from an original work is more likely to be considered fair use than borrowing large portions, but if what's borrowed is considered the heart of the work, sometimes even a small sampling may weigh against fair use. Bitch, what? They won't specify what a small bit is, they won't specify what a large portion is, and they won't specify what the fucking heart of the work is? What the actual hell are they talking about? And this is the only section on copyrighted material that they have in their website. Like, this is literally the guidelines that they have on their copyrighted material, there is nothing else. But for any of you that are wondering, you can use about 4 seconds of copyrighted music, you can use about 10 seconds of a movie, and I I believe that's it? This is information that people have gotten from guessing and checking, like it's really not that fucking hard to just tell us that yeah, you can use a 9 second movie clip, but anything over that you might get fucking struck for. And this is some people's jobs, like this is how they make money, is through advertising on their platform. Like, you're really restricting the amount of people that can make money on your platform by, uh, not telling us 
what we can do, which works out in their favor because more of the advertiser revenue just goes to them. And in retrospect, it means less competition for me, so why am I complaining? But it's really just a dick move, and it's so bad for their system, and even worse for their image. So because nobody actually knows the rules, and you can't actually ride the edge of them without a high chance of being completely fucked over, a lot of creative freedom is being strangled from the creators, who are just too afraid to actually make the content they want to anymore. The main point of all of this is that we need tools. We need to be able to know what we're doing wrong. We need the tools to be able to tell us, and we need a set of rules that is actually specific enough to follow. The rules YouTube has right now are more basic than a 14-year-old girl at Starbucks, and it will only tell you the rules after you break them, while still refusing to elaborate on how to be able to fix the issue. This really lowers the morales of content creators, and it removes potential content that could have been featured on its platform. Not to mention how fucking inconsistent these bots are. I uploaded a 30 second clip with swearing within the first 30 seconds it had copyrighted music over it and it was a video solely based on harassment for those of you that don't know it's a video called dream of weight loss that i made a shit post and uploaded it when dream's supposed face got leaked that video has ads on it like i shouldn't be complaining but at the same time youtube is so broken at this point that it's not even funny also just to prove that i'm not pulling this out of my ass let's get into some examples So the final straw with YouTube, the one that pushed me over the edge, was an example with a buddy of mine, a British potato, where he was doing a review on a movie called Halloween Kills, and as he uploads his hour-long review, YouTube decides to uh, say, well, you can't do that, fuck you, you're not eligible to even be seen, and it gives him a little timestamp. That's fine, I guess he can go fix his issue, correct? Yeah, wrong because that was just the first issue out of them, except we're only going to tell you where you can find that first issue. We're not even going to tell you what the first issue is, and we're only going to tell you about one of them. So, uh, try again. So, basically, long story short, he uploads this hour-long video, I believe it was 17 or so times, trying to get all the little copyrighted bits shaved down to the point where he can actually get it to be seen by his viewers. He genuinely started working on this, told me about that, and I was like, damn man, that sucks. I went when I ate breakfast, I took a, a two-hour drive to a neighboring city, spent a productive day there, and then I took the same drive back, had a nice meal, asked him how it was going. He was still trying to iron everything out. This is how bullshit YouTube's rules and guidelines and shit are. Because some creators literally have to spend days trying to figure out just exactly what they did wrong so then their video can be seen. Like, actual lots of hard work goes into these videos if you didn't know, and it's actually kind of disheartening when your video says that, yeah, nobody can actually see this, and plus, fuck you, we're taking all the money. If YouTube could actually, like, use those bots and just tell you, yeah, this is the violation at this timestamp, at these exact times, and here's a way to fix it, wow, that'd be really handy, wouldn't it? Except they're not gonna do that because they're just lazy pieces of <coughs> Also, by the way, while we're here, I want to talk about some of the censorship that sh Fucking hell. I want to talk about some of the censorship that YouTube has done in the past. The stupidest examples of censorship probably have to come down to Mumpkey Jones or Leafy. You've probably heard of at least one of those two guys. They made some content that was, well, questionable, and Leafy leaving the platform for a good few years and then coming back was, to a lot, a surprise and a welcome one for some of us. But after he came back, he just got fucking annihilated by YouTube. Like, they genuinely just took down his channel without reason. I guess you could say that some of his videos were like misleading but but at the same time who doesn't do that you do a little bit of clickbait because that's how you get views and other than some minor bullying he didn't actually violate the terms of service and not for youtube to justify taking him down he just simply made too much drama for the platform and they wanted him gone now that we know that youtube can just delete you without a warning that they can just get rid of you without their three strike rule any creator that makes slightly edgy content or creates drama now has to live in fear from the platform that actually pays them and that they get their livelihood from. Also, the inconsistency of their shit, like, blank 
like uploads a video on how to kill yourself and his content remains on YouTube. But then whenever anybody says the R slur, oh boy, I'm not gonna say it because I can't, even though I technically have a pass for that word, and I wanna try to get monetized just for the sake of the content subject, their videos are just immediately fucked over. They claim to be fine with the edgy content. They say, oh, but you gotta follow these guidelines. It's fine until you follow these guidelines. But then they just, like I said, they don't tell you what the guidelines are. They act like YouTube Kids does not exist. They have a separate ad for children. This platform should not be for children. They have a separate app for children, but because none of the kids actually use that app, they decide to enforce all their rules here because that's where they can get most of their advertisement money. Speaking of which... It's all about the money. We knew that from the beginning, and it's really not an issue until it starts becoming about the money for the platform. The platform that's already fucking rolling in it. Like, ever since Susan Wojcicki came into power, she's made it more and more profitable for Google. Yes, I'll give her that. She's good with her finances. However, in terms of the creators, what the platform's, you know, supposed to be about, they're completely fucked over. Because old Susan over here is catering in every possible way to the advertisers. That's really all I had to say. The advertisers control everything. What they want goes. And there's a video that better explains this subject than what I'm going to go into, so I highly suggest you go and check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description, if I remember. <coughs> By the way, guys, if you enjoyed the, uh, the gameplay in the background, this is a game called Forgive Me Father, and the company actually sent this to me for free to check out and give my opinions on. They're not paying me in any way, and I think it's pretty decent. It has a nice comic book art style, and I know a lot of you that are in my audience enjoy this type of game, so I would definitely recommend checking it out. But other than that, if you stuck around this long, I greatly applaud you for sitting through my bullshit. And if you did enjoy this, consider leaving a like, or don't, you're not obligated to in any way, and you know, you're all human. You're probably just gonna want to spite me at this point and not do it, but that's your choice. And if you've access to daddy's credit card, I would genuinely consider checking out any of the links featured in the description. Thank you all for watching, and until next